All right, what's up you guys? In this video, we're gonna talk about low intensity cardio for fat loss, specifically uh, LIS, so low intensity steady state cardio. Basically, when you do cardio for long periods of time at a low intensity at that same level of intensity. So an example would be like jogging, re really slow jogging at the same pace for a long period of time, anywhere from like 30, as, as little as 30 minutes all the way to two hours or even longer, depending on what you're doing like walking and so that's what we're going to talk about in this video how much you should do of it and what's recommended for fat loss so that's what we're going to talk about and let's get started all right guys so before we get this video started i want to make a quick note that if you don't have your calories and macros set up if none of that if your nutrition isn't set then all of this information in this video isn't going to help you whatsoever i don't care if you do as much low intensity cardio for fat loss as long as possible seven days a week you're not going to lose any weight if, if your calorie and macronutrients aren't set for fat loss so if you don't know what i'm talking about you don't know how to set any of that up go to this link down below. It's uh, my free course on teaching you exactly how to set up your calories and macros, how to track them with MyFitnessPal, how to weigh out foods and all that stuff. It's completely free. So make sure to check that out in the description below if you guys don't have that set up. If you do, great, let's get started with the video. All right, so like I just said, LIS or low intensity steady state cardio is a great way to just get some cardio in, burn some extra calories, um, the only con about low intensity steady state cardio, you guys, is that it does take a while to get anything out of it. Unlike high intensity interval training, which I do have a couple of videos on, which I'll link down below if you're interested in high intensity interval training. So unlike HIT, LIST does take a longer time to uh, get any significant calorie burn. If you were just to jog for like five minutes, you're not going to, at a low intensity, you're not going to burn as many calories as you if you were to do sprints for five minutes you burn a lot more calories more than likely okay so the only con with hit is that it is very taxing on your nervous system it does take a lot out of you it's high intensity think of sprints right you're never really uh, calm after sprints you're really winded and you need a certain time to uh, recover after your sprints and so um, doing hit too often can lead to a lot of negative effects such as overtraining, just fatigue in general, a lot of soreness, especially if you already uh, train legs on just regularly with weights, right? So while high intensity interval training may be great in uh, as far as time goes and burning more calories in a, in a shorter amount of time, uh, low intensity steady state cardio can actually be beneficial because there's less chance of overtraining, there's less chance of fatigue, and you still get the uh, additional calorie burn. However, again, it does take a while to uh, get any significant calorie burn. So for my low intensity uh, cardio plan for fat loss, what I like to do is, so I, I like to have at least three 45 minutes of uh, on the Stairmaster per week. So these are little longer sessions. Um, you'll see me doing it here in the background, but basically you do it for 45 minutes at a low set, uh, at a low speed, right? So for example, my gym, uh, my Stairmaster has about, uh, it goes up to speed 20, I believe. And so what I like to do is I'd go at speed six. And so this is a low intensity. It's just low enough, not too high, where I won't be too uh, drained afterwards. Obviously it's still hard, like I'm sweating a lot. It's, you are gonna get a significant calorie burn, but it's not anything like doing stair sprints or just regular sprints, right? And so I like to do about three of those per week. Then on top of that, um, just for like a personal goal, I am running uh, just one mile just to get my mile time up. That's just a personal goal of mine. That's nothing to do with like, n uh, not saying you guys should do it, although it is, uh, beneficial just for cardiovascular health right but on top of that 
uh, if you were to do those three 45 minute sessions per week, then I also recommend doing one high intensity interval training session per week as well. So that's how I'm doing my cardio plan right now. I don't feel fatigued. I'm also strength training five days per week. So um, I don't, I've recovery is great for me. I'm not really feeling any negatives from doing this uh, split, this cardio split. So again, uh, three days per week, 45 minutes on the stair, uh, Stairmaster, burning about 500 calories there. And then uh, one 20 minute high intensity interval training uh, sprint session. So I like doing that. And that seems to be working well for me. Um, I, if you don't have time to do 45 minute Stairmaster sessions, on top of your strength training plan already. Uh, I'd recommend doing it five days per week, but only for 20 minutes. That way you can still average out the same amount of time. Instead of doing 45 minutes per session, three days a week, you would be doing 20 minute sessions, but five days per week. So this is a better way to still get your cardio in, get it done. And um, yeah, I think everyone can find time to do 20 minutes of some sort of cardio, whether it be the Stairmaster, jogging, whatever it may be. So again, you guys, uh, low intensity cardio for fat loss is great. It's not gonna cause too much overtraining. It's not gonna cause too much fatigue like high intensity interval training does. If you were to do high intensity interval training five days per week, it wouldn't really uh, benefit you um, in terms of recovery. You'd be very fatigued if you're already doing that on top of your strength training plan. So again, to recap, I'm doing three 45 minute Stairmaster sessions per week and one high intensity interval session per week. Um, at, on top of that, as just as a personal goal of mine, you don't have to do this, but I'm just working on my mile time, um, just uh, jogging whenever I can. That's just a personal goal of mine. You don't have to do that, but it is also beneficial for your cardiovascular health for fat loss. So. Um, that's my plan right now, you guys. I highly recommend you guys try it. Um, that's going to be it for this video, you guys. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.